I'm gonna get some cleanup done on these uh, on these chairs. We got quite a bit of uh, this old upholstery that comes off, and just kind of want to show you what I'm gonna do here is these are hog rings um, that hold all this stuff together. Uh, and a hog ring is put on with a hog ring plier and it just basically clamps through there and it clamps around to the metal structure of these chairs. So all these hog rings are gonna have to be cut off, pried out. Uh, it's pretty easy to do uh, if you really don't care, uh, you know, kind of uh, how much damage you do. Uh, the, probably the easiest way to do it is just to get a grinder out, get your uh, eyeglasses on and just, and just zip through them. Uh, so I'm gonna do that next. Can I like to save this piece right here, but I think it's going to be trashed. These uh, these little metal bands here give you some more some stability across your seat. Um, but I don't think I'm going to save it. I'm going to try. Also, a couple of little pieces right here on the end of these. They help to hold the cushion on. And you have to get those off on both seats. And keep that panel because you'll need it.
these seats actually are in better shape than the seats that I had in the other car. Um, all of this was shot on the other one. This is nice to have because you know exactly what the distance is there for the thickness of the back of that seat. So all we gotta do is get this back panel off here and these are gonna come right apart. And I keep these screws and just put this panel right back on as soon as it comes off because you're only going to need this panel when it comes time to uh, reupholster it. So, pop that off. Save your screws. And just as soon as you get it cleaned up, you put it right back on. Got a couple of hob rings here. Still to put in. And this is the dirty part. It's not the part they feature on TV most of the time. I'm sure those guys have to do this part too. But there's two pieces of the seat. Your front seat taken apart. I'll put this piece back on the back and uh, I'll just continue to go as you can see. I've got quite a bit more left to do. And across the bottom, that's where they put the piece of wire in that seat cover. So they, they looped it in here, and they put this wire in, and then they hog ringed in, but that gives it a, a consistent pull across the bottom once you get it hog ringed in, so you'll wire that. All right, and then on the back side of the front seat too, uh, once you get it, so I'm looking across the bottom of it, looking up at the bottom. Once you get your cover built, it first mounts under here. Um, there are these nasty little hooks, very sharp, under there. And they hook underneath there um, originally. So that's where you start as you get your wire piece. Can you get my pliers? So I can, let's see if I can pull that out. I really can't. Hang on. Okay, so this pulls. Uh, once, you, once you pull the seat cover over the top, so this is the front, okay? Fits nice and tight. Once you pulled it over the top, you can see under here how this connects. You see that? There's a wire sewn into the back of the seat cover and it tucks under there under those really sharp little teeth. And then once, it's, once it bites underneath that tooth, that's what holds it. I don't think it's hollering at all, other than that. In there. So that's the wire. Goes underneath there and hooks behind these sharp little teeth. And that's what holds the back of your seat cover on. And these are destroyed, obviously. Uh, but that's where your seat cover starts. So when you build your panel, that's the top of it. And then this piece right here would flip up. That piece right there flips up and over the top of the back of the seat. You can see on the back side what it is. And the wire, see, is right underneath that decorative area right there. All right, and let's look at this too. So the, one of the last things that you do before your seat cover goes on is, uh, is this fat piece here comes over and this kind of puts a cushion over the back of that panel. And that panel, it's, it's underneath that. So you'll have to have this piece ready to go as you, uh, as, before you take this piece off. This piece will be there and will need to be cushioned to go over it. 
um, and, and then you'll put that on, but this gives the top of the seat its structure. Once that panel is picked up, once the screws are taken off and you pick it up, you see that the jute and the underneath is, is hog ring under here. Um, so it, so that's what's holding all that on. It's hog ring around uh, the inside first, and then the other hog rings will come in and attach to the back side here. All right, that's the back seat bottom. Let's strip down. Had a little fire, no big deal. Um, able to save a couple of the original seat covers. I'm hoping to make a template out of those or a, um, a pattern when I go to sew the seat covers. I think I can disassemble those. They're pretty brittle, uh, take those apart. And that's the uh, rear seat back. It's got a couple of little places that need repair right here. This, uh, this mesh will come back together and be put back together. I'll replace that whole top piece, but that's how, uh, that's how this dimension right here is actually maintained. Uh, and um, those pieces there will be stripped down and cleaned. Um, I don't want to strip them now because those stainless bands that are right there are actually safer installed. If you take them off, they're pretty delicate. And um, that's not a big job to take that apart. So I'll wait probably until way after we get the, the, the rest of the interior installed. Uh, it's one of the last things I did on, on that car was to put those shells on. In fact, I was missing those shells. I had to find them one at a time on eBay and they were not cheap. I think I had to pay $100 a piece for them. Uh, and I think I paid for these outer shells here, those which, you know, when, you got, when you're finished with the seat, those outer shells, that's what really finishes the look. Um, makes everything look great. This is fake here. This is actually done in a piece of uh, fuel line, aluminum fuel line, because I couldn't find these uh, stainless pieces here. And they're actually in really good shape on this car. Uh, so they'll go on, those, those will look really good. Uh, so the seats are stripped down. It made a huge mess in the shop. Uh, there's a whole bunch of old cotton here we've had a couple of little fires Let's see if i'm still burning up here yeah still grinder plus cotton does not mix so that's still burning in two places so i gotta get that put out before i go to bed um, we'll clean the shop up and finish inventory all our pieces we did get most of that done though that's everything bagged and tagged on the inside all these things are bagged and tagged uh, most of it so all that's ready to go up on shelves or in totes and wait uh, reassembly.